Caddis Maximus here. This is a quick review of the, in, in this instance, the 18 inch Milwaukee 716 hex quick lock, quick lock extension. This is, would be an extension that's primarily sold to drive things like self feed bits, but actually the 716 hex shank has been a standard for decades. It's just been kind of on and off. Even though this is made by Milwaukee, and of course all new Milwaukee bits are 716. Milwaukee themselves has been guilty of not following the 716th standard like on this older Milwaukee self-fee bit which just has uh, the three flats on it. That has indeed been a standard such as on this old uh, carbide tipped uh, auger. Excuse me. This I believe is a Makita auger. It's a more traditional style that used set screw. Now these, this Milwaukee extension, the reason I really like it is because of how tight that it fits there's going to be more inconsistency in the shanks of 716 bits. As we can see, this auger bit here is, has very little wobble. It's actually more than acceptably tight. However, if we take something like this DeWalt auger bit, we actually get quite a bit of wobble, and that's just because DeWalt has uh, undersized their shanks just a little bit. Now, this uses the roller lock insti bit mechanism, and I was noticing that on the shelf. When I was also looking at these Boshes, I reviewed these Boshes. They are excellent. People actually have a lot of good luck with them. And they use a patented design. This patent number right here, actually let me zoom in. Here we go. And so this Bosch is a uh, very similar design to uh, the Milwaukee here. The Milwaukee is just a bit heavier duty. There's more steel. This collar is steel where it's aluminum on the Bosch, but the Bosch is for a quarter inch. But I noticed this, the patent on this, as you can see, almost, you might be able to see, but it's 6561523. I was noticing on this Milwaukee patent, 6561523. Milwaukee and Bosch are both licensing InstiBits patent. And that tells you something about this design here. If both Milwaukee and Bosch, which are directly competing with each other in the market, they are not, don't have business interest in each other, at least as far as I know making this video, but they're both licensing the same technology from InstiBit, or I should say engineering, showing how good it really is. Those are two of the top world's largest tool manu power tool manufacturers. And so that really does say something. This InstiBit design, this three ball bearing roller lock design is really excellent because they ride in some tracks that are cut into the receiver. And then this outer collar reinforces this inner part as well as actually providing the taper that these ball bearings actually ride in. And all this collar down here at the bottom, if I can get my focus to cooperate, is pushing up on the bottom of the ball bearings so that they uh, stay tight. When you push in a bit, and I should mention that with 716 there are things like heavy duty Phillips bits, so when you push it in it just rolls the bearings down and pushes the collar down and then gives you just a super duper tight fit, really pretty nice. There's also heavy duty. This is an old Black & Decker uh, bit here. And once again, 716 shank. So that's just to show that there's actually, if you hunt around, quite a bit of accessories for 716. About this Milwaukee shaft, it's pretty good impact rated. Milwaukee actually makes a quartered 716 hex impact wrench, which I thought was interesting. This was at the orange box for 28 bucks, which interesting is that there's like some kind of base cost, licensing cost with this design, because the six inch version was $24, the 18 inch version was $28. And I was like, what on earth is going on there? There's almost no price difference. I'm gonna get the long one because really, uh, I'll end up getting the shorter ones, but really when you need one of these, you really want a pretty long one. Something I should mention, it's a 1.1 inch diameter on the head. So the minimum bit size, if you wanna go uh, deeper than the face of this. If you're just not using it to maybe clear around some piping, wire, plumbing, that type of stuff, uh, just to get reach. If you're actually trying to go through a deep cross section of wood, you're gonna the the minimum bit size is gonna be one and an eighth inches. Anything smaller than that, and the side of this collar will bind, will get stuck in the hole. Speaking of stuck in a hole, if you do get one of these bits stuck in the hole, I actually was fortunate enough to find one of these things, which is a half inch drive. Um, to 7 16 locking adapter. And so what's pretty nice about this is if you use it with, in particular, a locking ratchet like this. So if you get a bit stuck and you get a big ratchet on there and you start ratcheting it out and you pull up on the ratchet pretty hard at the same time that you're uh, 
getting it loose and that usually just takes a few swings with the ratchet and you can get the uh, stuck auger or a stuck self B bit uh, right on out of there. And so having one of these ab adapters is just an absolute lifesaver for removing stuck bits. It's pretty, you know, you can use a socket. But the problem is, is that you can get it to unscrew, but you can't, you have a hard time actually pulling and yanking on it. So having these locking adapters can just make a absolute massive difference. And that goes along with this extension, the way this roller lock works, it is very tight fitting. So anything that you put in there, you can put a huge amount of pulling force on it. Anyway, let's give this a little run. I'll give it a run with this uh, Milwaukee 1 and 3 8 self feed bit here. I will say with these longer bits, you kind of generally run them just a little bit slower because with 18 inches of steel, even though this outer shank is about a half inch, there's still going to be a little bit of twist and torsion. I mean, it is going to act like a spring. And those Bosch uh, bits were pretty straight. This 18 inch is more than acceptable, but there's... I think you can just see that there. Just a little bit of wobble, but I don't give them too much criticism. Making a piece of steel that's a foot and a half long, absolutely perfectly straight, is actually a pretty difficult and pretty expensive task. So I, I for how long this is, and 28 bucks, it is really more than good enough for its purpose, which is driving bits like these. Let's find a good spot. How about right here? We'll try this at 1200 RPM and old DCD 996. Oh, I just got it jammed in all the bit wood chips. When you make these deep holes, you really got to watch out for that. Otherwise, you're going to end up in this, this kind of situation. When this happens and it's just totally jammed <laughs> by its own, excuse me, by its own debris, you got to spend a minute picking out the wood chips and take and get enough clearance to actually withdraw the bit. It's always real special. Otherwise, it's just sitting there hovering against kind of a, a powder of wood both below and above it. Got some of that debris cleared out. There we go. Warning, when that happens, it's very easy to burn up at that the bit. And this bit is like burning hot right now. So anyway, that's my little review of uh, this Milwaukee selfie bit extension it's actually just a 716 hex drive universal extension another note you don't want to overheat self feed bits that you'll eventually get to the point where you soften the steel and then they just dull and they essentially are ruined but really these extensions can obviously be absolutely invaluable you know they can be particularly useful because there's many people arborists who will tie together use steel cables to tie together branches maybe old trees uh, that people do want to try to save. And so the, a lot of times they end up buying these custom 24 inch, 36 inch, huge, like $200 auger bits. When you could do something like a self feed bit, you would have to pack to make sure you don't run into that issue with it clogging the hole. Um, and an extension like this and save a tremendous amount of money. I mean, both of this combination would be less than 50 bucks and it allows you to drill uh, a 24 inch hole and you buy this extension and two of them all of a sudden you have 36 inches so anyway that was my review of this milwaukee uh 7 16 insti bits uh licensed quick lock extension and it is indeed pretty nice using that insti bit uh design and for 28 dollars really a pretty good price actually the six inches is the one that's the least value because it's 24 dollars for only six inches 28 for 18 inches is really quite worthy. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.